Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about something I really love in RPGs and the RPGs, which is stats. So um, I added about 40 new stats, a bit more than 40 actually, for um, RPG Builder 1.0.2. And in this video, I'm going to cover them as well as showing you some of them in action at the end of the video. I'm going to try to keep this very quick because otherwise it will take an hour. Look at the, you know, the stat list that we have, it's pretty crazy. Um, and I'm also going to go over the ones that were already existing before, because if you're new to the channel or to RPG Builder in general, it's not going to hurt for you to understand how this works. A quick note before I start. Stats, every single one I'm going to explain, um, can go up or down, obviously, and from many different sources. So, for example, items, you know, um, I created a few items that we're going to be using later. So you see that each of those items have stats on them. And... Uh, of course, abilities. So um, if you're not familiar with the effect system, you could, for example, create a new effect, stats, add a bunch of stats here, and let's say, okay, this uh, effect, this ability is going to increase your armor by 50 for whatever seconds, all right? So let's get into it. Damage. Damage is going to be for your custom uh, damage type, such as, for example, fire. In this case, you also have resistances, which, which means that you can have now fire damage, but also fire resistances. And on top of that, you have also uh, stats of type penetration. So you could have a fire penetration, which is going to, you know, neglect a small part or whatever amount you have of penetration to uh, the fire resistance. Vitality stats is for anything like health, mana, rage, stuff like this. They can go up or down, of course, they can have a minimum, maximum, just like any other stats, but this one can also have a shift mechanic, meaning that, for example, if you want health to go up by 5 every 2 seconds, that's what you will do and it will work uh, right away. We now have healing, which is the same as damage. So this is going to be when you want to create your custom healing types, for example, holy, water, nature, whatever. Absorption is similar to resistances, but in the opposite way. So if you have plus 50% uh, holy absorption on you, for example, holy spells are going to heal you 50% more. CC power is going to increase the, um, well, increase or decrease, right? Because remember, they can go up or down. But CC power is affecting how efficient your uh, crowd control abilities are. Same for the resistances, of course. CC resistance is going to affect um, how efficient the crowd control abilities are against you. Damage taken, same, it's going to affect how much uh, damage you're currently taking. And keep in mind that damage taken and damage dealt are calculated at the very end of the uh, damage calculation. So after all the damage type, after all the bonus, after all the critical hit and stuff like this, critical strike and so on, then we calculate this. So this is at the very top. So it's very, very power powerful in terms of stats. Same for healing received and done. It's the same as above. This is going to affect how much heal you receive and uh, how much heal you're currently doing. Cast speed, of course, you know, it's going to uh, affect the cast time of your abilities. So you can, for example, go from a fireball, which takes two seconds to one second or whatever, or even longer. Um, very something I want to remind you guys, uh, like this is very, very easy to uh, use as abilities. So this, all of that could be used for a uh, boss mechanic. So for example, you could have a boss which has an AOE ability that's going to increase your cast speed. Uh, I mean, you know, reduce your cast speed, for example, uh, by 80%. And then if you're playing a mage right now, you're probably in trouble because all your abilities that have a cast time are going to be 80% longer to cast. So, you know, it's probably a good ability to dodge and so on. So all the stats I added here are insane in terms of how much freedom it adds to RPG Builder now. Uh, so we have crit chance, you know, very uh, uh, common stats. So uh, the chance that you have to um, hit with a critical hit. Base damage type, base resistance type. So this is for uh, physical and magical. And same for that. So um, your abilities can be, I mean, effects can be of type physical or magical. And you can, of course, have uh, resistances on that, such as armors and so on. Summon count, uh, very straightforward. For each point in summon count, you can summon an extra pet. So if you, I don't know, pick up a staff, which gives you plus two summon count, and you're a summon class, well, you can now summon plus two pets. Um, CD recovery speed. This is going to affect how fast your cooldowns are, uh, you know, recovering. Global healing. This is going to uh, increase your um, global healing value. So no matter of the um, healing type. So if you have plus one in this, it's going to give plus one to any healing abilities. Holy, uh, water, nature, and so on. Life steal. Very straightforward. If uh, let's say you have 20% life steal, every time you deal damage, you're going to heal yourself for 20% of the amount. 
Thorn is a reflex stat. So if you have 50% Thorn, you're going to reflect 50% of the damage you take. You still take the damage, but you, you reflect also a part of it. Block chance, this is part of the new ones. So uh, actually this, all of this from here to here were the stat we had before in RPG Builder. And after Thorn, this is all the new stat I added. So block chance, the chance that you have to block. So you could have a, chi a shield, which is giving you, I don't know, a 50% chance to block or something. And then you have block flat. So this is a flat value that's going to be reduced from the uh, damage amount. Uh, keep in mind that right now you could change it if you want, or I could even make it an option in the editor. Right now, blocking is only working on physical uh, damage. So uh, if we have five uh, in block flat and we get hit by 10, it's only going to deal five damage. Um, and modifier is a percentage on top of the flat one. Dot chance, of course, you know. If you have 80% dodge, you have 80% chance to completely um, dodge the attack. So you're not going to take damage if you dodge it. Glancing blow is um, another kind of defense mechanic, but this uh, reduces the damage taken by 50%. Crit power is going to affect how powerful are your critical hits. Dot bonus. So this is a bonus, uh, like a damage bonus, that's only going to affect dot abilities, so damage over time abilities. Hot bonus, same, but for healing over time abilities. Health on hit, this is pretty cool. So if you have, for example, 15 um, health on hit, it means every time you hit with an ability or damage, you're going to uh, heal yourself for 15. Health on kill, you can assume what it's doing. Uh, you're going to heal yourself for whatever amount you have in this stat whenever you kill um, an enemy. Health on block, you're going to heal yourself every time uh, you block successfully an ability. Effect trigger. This is a very, very, very cool one. So um, you have the normal settings, but you see here we have effect. So if we add one here, you see that you can have as many as you want. By the way, it's not only one. Um, and you can see that it tells us we can have an effect. So let's say I want to add a... Um, well, actually, we already have one. I'm going to show you. We have the curse on hit uh, stats here. You see it is effect trigger. And uh, here it has one effect setup. So the effect is said to be uh, applied on the target. You can also choose the caster. So in this case, it will be you, but um, the target. And it's going to be on hit, but it can also be on kill. And we see that we have the curse effect and it has a 100% chance. What this means essentially is if you have, for example, 50 in curse on hit, each point is going to give you 1% chance for this uh, stats to trigger. If you have 100% in Curse on Hit, it means that every time you hit an enemy, you have, you're going to apply the Curse effect. On top of this, you also have a chance here, meaning that you have a chance with the effect, but also a chance for each individual effect. For example, we could have two effects here, one with 100% chance and one with 40 or whatever. So uh, this is very cool. And as I said, this can be um, triggered on hit or on kill. So you could totally trigger this uh, effect also when you kill. You need, in this case, it could be, for example, on kill and instead of curse, because of course the target is dead, so you don't really want to curse it, you know, just let him rest in peace. Um, but you could, for example, decide to um, apply a heal effect to you every time you kill a unit or whatever, like something that increases strength or whatever, like it's really up to you. And of course, like I said, you can apply it to the caster or whatever. I'm not going to last too long on this one, but this is a very, very, very cool one. Uh, this is uh, usually used in RPGs, I mean ARPGs, my bad. For example, Last Tipo, Grim Down, things like this, uh, PoE, of course. Um, for example, you have an item. Imagine, well, we have actually here, um, I don't remember which one. Here, you see those boots, they have 10 plus 10 curse on hit, which is the stat we're looking at right now. Meaning that I'm going to show you after, but meaning that um, when we have those boots equipped, we now have 10% chance every time we hit with an ability to apply the curse effect on the enemy. So it's really cool. Anyway, going back to um, the list. Loot chance modifier. So this is, of course, going to give you more um, drop rates. So if someone, uh, if something has 10% um, drop chance and uh, you roll, for example, I don't know, uh, 8 or something like this, um, or like, well, you know, you needed something um, more, it's going to apply on top of this chance. Experience modifier, pretty straightforward. Also, this lets you increase the amount of experience you get for both your um, character, class level, and skills. Vitality region. So in this case, it's going to let you 
here you see there is a new field it's going to let you assign a stats for example health and here uh, you could decide to increase your health regen because of these stats minion damage so here we we start entering in the uh, minion area from here to here these are stats that are only going to affect your uh, currently summoned pets so minion damage so for example the pet has its own stats right so the pet is going to have all the stats above and below so for example the pet the pet could have um, plus 50 percent damage bonus but you as the owner of the pet you could also have uh, plus 100 percent bonus minion damage so this minion damage is going to be applied on top of the 50 percent bonus of your pet so this is very cool it's also very common of course in rpgs um i'm often playing a summoner build actually and uh you can very you can you know really boost your uh summon so for example you have a chest which is giving you uh plus uh 200 uh, minion damage and then uh, 100 minion health and so on so physical damage magical damage pretty straightforward uh minion health this is going to increase the total health of your minion when you spawn it the crit chance so you can increase uh, their chance to have a crit their crit power the the duration of the pets so you can even increase the duration how long they last it's pretty cool uh their lifesteal form their chance to dodge glancing blow and they also have health on hit health on kill health on block so that's pretty cool now uh, we have here projectile speed so this is going to be you know obviously um, affecting the speed of your projectile you can go up down otherwise the angle spread and the projectile range, as well as the projectile count, which is what I'm going to show you in a bit. I set up an item that's going to show that. AoE radius, how far your AoE goes. So this is a bonus applied on top of the base uh, radius. So for example, if the base radius was uh, five meters and you have a bonus of, uh, I don't know, 100%, then now it's 10 meters. Max hit, very cool. This uh, lets you increase how many units can be hit by uh, your abilities. So um, most of the time when you set up an ability, for example here, Fireball, you see that we see max hit. And this means that as soon as this Fireball hits one unit, it's going to get destroyed, right? It's going to be a projectile that as soon as, as, soon as it hits something, it deals damage and it gets destroyed. If we now have, I don't know, boots or a staff that gives us plus two max hit, it means that this Fireball is now going to pierce and go from and go through the first target hit damage the second one hit damage and even a third one and after that is going to get destroyed so that's very neat um what else do we have well uh, the last two are for target abilities so max range and min range so if you had a top target you know a target locked ability with 20 meter range only you could increase uh, the range by uh, 5 or 10 or whatever Keep in mind that all the stats, it's not implemented yet, but all the stats in the future are going to um, be also possible to affect only specific abilities or effects. Meaning that right now it's kind of global, which is not optimal because you might not want to always increase, um, uh, for example, the global amount of um, max unit hit of all your abilities. In this case, later you're going to be able, for example, to select this, and then you're going to be select a list of abilities that should be affected by that. And only those abilities will be. Anyway, um, that's a pretty you know nice list. I think if you have any suggestion, if you think anything is missing, definitely let me know. Now let's get in the game and actually um, look at some of them. So I have a staff here, which is adding plus three projectile counts as well as reducing the spread of the abilities. We have a uh, chest which is giving us 10, he 10 heal on it, so 10 health. And uh, well, I actually type heal instead of health, but whatever um this one is giving us block chance block amount and also 15 health when we block and uh, this one is giving us 25 health when we um kill a, an enemy this one gives us 100 percent chance to um trigger the potion effect on us and if we look at the stat here you see that so we have a 100% chance to trigger this effect, but we only have a 50% chance to actually trigger this individual effect. So it still doesn't mean it's going to hit every single time. And this one, 10% chance to apply curse. So let me use this fireball ability here. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty wide spread. Spread. It's like a pretty big con, and it is doing five um, projectile. Now I'm going to go ahead and equip this staff and use the fireball ability again. And you see, it's a smaller con smaller spread and more projectile 
because now it's a total of um, eight. So eight projectile, but in a 50% smaller um, angle. So instead of 90, it's going to be now 45. So pretty cool. I think already you can see how cool and easy it was to modify that. Um, I guess I'm going to keep it equipped. Let's say, let's equip this one now. So this one should now heal us every time um, 10 when we hit with this ability. And as you can see, it does. So we hit two times here. You see those two uh, 17 damage and you see those two green text here, plus 10, plus 10. So it's healing us. Something very important to know about those on hit effect and stuff like this is that we have to, um, for example, if we go to Fireball here, uh, I made this so that you can actually choose which abilities are affected by this instead of being it globally. So I added a tag um, tag section in the ability editor and now you can see that you can add and remove tag. So um, I'm going back here. You can see that here we have the on hit tag and on kill. For now, there are only two tags, but there will probably be more in the future. But now you see that the fireball ability is both is triggering both on hit and on kill uh, effects. So pretty cool. Now I'm going to um, de equip this. They can work all together. Huh? That's not the issue. I'm just want to keep the screen uh, clear for you to um, to understand everything. So now we have these blockchains. I'm going to show this a bit later, I think. Yeah, at first I'm going to show those and then we're going to actually fight some mobs. Now we have 10% uh, chance to apply curse on hit. So let's just, uh, okay, so you see here, we actually applied the curse effect on these targets. We had 10% so we were lucky. And let's do a bit, a bit more. So this is very fun. And remember that these effects are not only on the target, you can choose in the editor um, who should be um, having this effect applied. So in this case, it could also be an effect on us. For example, the fireball ability could have a 10% or 20% chance to uh, give our character maybe a buff that's going to increase like or half by 20% or whatever. Like it could be anything. Like it's really up to you. Well, actually, let's keep this equipped. This one is going to give us a 100% chance to trigger the health potion on ourselves. But remember that the health potion only has a 50% uh, chance to be applied. But in this case, it did. So um, in this case, you see, it didn't hit, it didn't trigger it, and now it did. So it refreshed the health potion effect, and you see it's healing us. So pretty cool. And now we're going to apply the um, block chance. So I'm going to go fight a wolf. All right, so uh, you see that one is attacking us. For now, we take five damage. And I'm going to equip the um, helmet. And now we have a uh, chance to block this attack. We don't have a 100% chance. So in this case, he can still uh, hit us sometimes fully. But here, most, most of the time, you see, okay, here we didn't block, for example. I think it has 83% block chance for now. But you see that we do block. We do neglect uh, a part of the damage. And we also get healed uh, every time we actually block. So that's very cool. And this one is uh, giving us, this cape is giving us 25 health on kill. So if I go ahead and uh, kill this wolf here, it healed us for 25. It was hard to see at the same time because we had the potion and uh, some other things. And it dropped some cool items. In case you didn't see the previous video, in uh, 1.0.2, we also uh, I had added the, um, the randomized stats on items and I remade the two tips, which are uh, which is a two tip you can see here, which is, you know, very cool to compare stats and so on. Anyway, I think this uh, video uh, lasted very long uh, already. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's hard to keep it short. Uh, I hope you liked it. Definitely let me know here um, or on the Discord what kind of stat you think is missing, how could this be improved and so on. And um, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.